So today I want to talk today about TENS or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation and address an important question that I get in many of my videos. So some of you have noticed that when I post about using TENS uh, in a few of my videos, that I demonstrate electrode placement on the head, neck, uh, face, and jaw for managing headache and facial pain. But if you've ever read a TENS unit manual before, you might see warnings that say never to place electrodes on these areas. So why is there an apparent contra contradiction to this? So I wanted to clear that up. So hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Active Headache Recovery, and I'm Dr. Sam, and I'm here, and I, I use this channel to help people manage headache and migraine disorders with practical evidence-based strategies. So before we dive more into this video, I wanna make a quick disclaimer that the information shared here is for educational purposes, and TENS can be used TENS can be a helpful tool when used correctly, but it's not a substitute for professional medical advice for your conditions. So always consult your medical or healthcare team or provider to determine if this is an appropriate treatment for you. So, um, so, let's, so now let's uh, talk a little bit more about TENS and some of these warnings. So the warnings in TENS unit manuals are mainly there for safety and legal reasons. Manufacturers typically include them guidelines because really to prevent users from accidentally placing electrodes over potential risky areas or using the devices inappropriately. And here's why. First, the TENS unit are widely available. You can get them over the counter or through Amazon, and most people don't receive formal training on how to use these devices safely. So the manual and the guidelines are designed to minimize risk by discouraging untrained users from applying electrodes to areas like the head or neck, because placing these electrodes in these areas could cause vocal cord spasms, maybe injure or theoretically pose a risk to like facial nerves, and then second, there's a liability and regulatory factors. Companies tend to err on the side of caution because they don't want to be held responsible or liable when you, if somebody experiences adverse effects outside of like a clinical environment. So even though medical studies often use TENS and placements on the jaw, forehead, or temples under the guidance of healthcare professionals, these companies can't control for that. So and lastly, while their adverse effects in these studies are mild, such as skin irritation or temporary numbness, these manufacturing companies included um, can't really account for all risks. So now, despite the, met the manual warnings, medical research has shown that TENS can be very helpful uh, for headache and orofacial pain disorders. Um, and there's many studies that show placement on the forehead, the temples, uh, and the back of the neck. So if you choose to use TENS for these conditions, there are some important precautions that I usually want people to follow. So here are a few of these guidelines that I tend to have people to that I want to talk to people about before using TENS. One, always make sure to talk to your healthcare provider um, beforehand, before you start using the TENS, especially if you have a headache or facial pain, um, they can guide you on whether it's appropriate and help you determine the best electrode placement for you, as well as settings for those devices. Um, make sure you follow specific instructions on the electrode placement for headache relief. They usually want to be about one inch apart. And, but the areas would include the temples, uh, forehead, the jaw, and possibly the neck. But make sure you avoid placing the electrodes um, in certain areas, and I'll get to that in a second. So you want to uh, definitely don't use over uh, broken skin, open wounds, or areas of skin irritation. This could further, wor further worsen those conditions. Or you avoid using it over the, directly over the eyes or within the mouth. These electrodes aren't meant for those treatments. Um, and individuals with pacemakers and seizures are also are told to avoid these because of the potential risk for interfering with the device or causing or triggering a seizure. So I hope this video uh, helped clear up some of the confusion around TENS for headache and oral facial pain and gave you a better understanding of how to use it safely. So if you found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Active Headache Recovery for more videos on managing headache and migraine disorders.